Hey guys, it's Cassidy, and I'm back with your Fit Friday video for this week. This week we are again going to be looking at our alphabet sheet, and we're going to be spelling out the word April. So you can either choose to look at the sheet and do this on your own, or you can go through the workout, and I will walk you through it uh, in this video. So to get started today, I'm going to ask that you pause the video and just walk around your room for a minute to get yourself warmed up. Um, I'm not going to do this with you. Uh, you guys can just pause the video, walk around until your body feels warmed up and a little bit warm. And then you can also do some stretches on your own. Um, the ones we've been doing are arm reach or our tricep stretch. Or you can do and should do some leg stretches that you reach down the one leg to the middle and to the other side. I've been doing this a couple weeks, and I think you guys can do those stretches on your own now. If not, you can go back and look at one of our old videos um, for some guidance. So we're going to get started with our workout. So the first letter is A, and for our A workout, we are going to do 15 jumping jacks. So here we go. Remember, we're hitting two positions in our jumping jacks, in X and in I. Again, the X and the I. So we're going to do 15 of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Awesome job, Rob. And then for our next letter, we have P. And our P exercise is going to be 15 crunches. This is one we've done a lot, but I'll walk you through it real quick. So your knee, your feet are planted on the ground, and your hands behind your head. Don't mind the cat right there. Your feet behind your head, and you're going to crunch up and lift your shoulders off the ground. Hi, Hazel. So we have 15 of those. One, two, get those shoulders off the ground, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15. Awesome job, you guys. And the next letter we have is our R, and our R workout is going to be five lunges on each leg. So we're going to do a total of 10, and we're going to alternate those lunges. So it'll look like this. So you're going to step forward with one leg and drive this back knee to the ground while this front knee also bends. So it'll look like this. And then you're going to come back and go to the other leg. Just like that. So we're going to do 10 of them alternating. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, halfway, 6, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Awesome work, you guys. So the next thing we have is going to be our shoulder press. So if you want to grab some light weights that you have, or even soup cans, that would be a good um, way to make this exercise a little bit harder, but still reasonable. So if you need time to do that, go ahead and pause the video. If not, we'll get started. And we are going to do 10 of them. So this is the one where we have a football goal post, make a fist, and our fists come down towards shoulder level. And then you push them up like that. So one. And you can do this standing. You don't have to be on your knees. I just don't have much room in here. So two, three, four. Five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome work. And that was our R. Now we are on to the I in our workout. It's spelling April. I am kidding. We just did our I. Our I was our shoulder press. So we're already on to the L part of our workout in April. And that is going to be 10 tricep, dip, tricep dips. So there's a couple modifications, and you can go ahead and pick which ones, which one you are going to be able to do. So the hardest version, you're going to want to be on a couch or a chair. You're going to put your hands by your side, and then you're going to bring your legs out, and you're going to dip down using your arms to get you back up. Now that's pretty hard to do, so if that's too hard, you can do it where you're on the floor, lifting your butt up and your arms here and bending down like that. And then if that is, again, still too hard, you can do the version that I'm gonna do with you guys, where you're sitting on the floor, your hands are here, and you're gonna bend at your elbow joint. We don't just wanna be leaning back and leaning forward, because that's not the way to do it. We wanna be bending our elbows. Sorry again, guys, don't mind the cat, she's kinda of being fun. But we have 10 of them. So here we go. One, bend those elbows. Two, three, four, use those arms. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Last one, bend those elbows a lot. 10. Good job, guys. So. So, since it is spring break for most schools this week, I thought we'd give a shorter workout so it's a little bit of a break for everyone on here. So, we're only going to go through those exercises one time. We're not going to go back through and do them again. But we should always finish up with some stretching. And I'll take you through a couple quick ones. We'll do the one where you reach to one leg, keep that knee straight, remember. And rainbow to the other side. Still keep those knees straight. Awesome. And walk your hands to the middle. Stretch down. And we'll finish up with, well not finish up, we'll do another leg one that we haven't done in a while. Our butterfly stretch. So bring the base of your feet together and sit like a butterfly. And if you need to stretch more, you can take your elbows and push your knees down a little bit. That'll give you more of a stretch. Awesome. And we'll finish up with one last one since we did our tricep dips. We're gonna make sure we get our tricep stretch in here. So that's one way you reach up, pat yourself on the back. Other hand goes on your elbow and pushes down. And you'll feel that on the back part of your arm, which is your tricep. And to the other arm, pat yourself on the back. Other hand goes on your elbow and pushes down. Awesome work. Good job. This, good job today, guys. I will see you guys next week. Have a happy Easter.